Uh, the, you, at the top of the, of the uh, segment, you saw Barack Obama admitting, uh, you know, in a 60 Minutes interview that he smoked marijuana and did other drugs as well. Uh, but unless you really live in California right now, it's very hard to grasp a crazy situation that's developing, especially in California, involving so-called me medical marijuana. It's legal under state law, but it's illegal under federal law. So as a result, there are scores of marijuana dispensaries in cities up and down the California coast. In some neighborhoods, they seem more uh, common than McDonald's or Starbucks. But where those shops get the weed that they are selling is a very tricky proposition that could land the, uh, land the seller, the buyers behind bars. Now, to get rid of the income consistencies and maybe chart a new course, and this is very, very controversial territory. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has suggested opening a robust debate on legalization. It's an issue that has troubled and divided America for an awfully long time. Do you feel that there's something incongruous about the fact that you're on the, you've been asked to join the President's Commission Against Drug Abuse and the American Bar Association uh, Council Against Drug Abuse and here you're being thrown out of the country because of a, an arrest for pot that goes back a year? Are they asking us to become uh, artists in residence for New York City and to help awareness um, in the city of art and music and, and love and Peace and love, you know. The attempt by the Nixon administration in the early 1970s to use an old pot bust in Britain as the reason to deport anti-war activist John Lennon is one small example of one of the longest running arguments in American society. It's the great heads versus feds debate, which has accelerated as presidents who came of age during the drug era took office. George W. Bush indirectly admitted using. Clinton tried to have it both ways. I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it, and didn't inhale. Barack Obama came clean. I inhaled uh, frequently. That was, uh, that, was, that was the point. I'm always for an open debate on it, and I think that we ought to study very carefully on what other uh, countries are doing that have legalized marijuana. As he gets set to leave public office, the California governor has reignited the passionate debate. We all smoke a joint here, let's face it. <laughs> I've said this before, almost everyone I know has tried weed at one time or another. Most of you watching have tried it. Not all, but most. But despite that almost universal experience, arrest for pot possession is still far and away the most common criminal offense. Item 2007. According to the FBI, there were more than 775,000 Americans busted that year for simple pot possession. That's way more than the total busted for violent crime. And processing those pot arrests costs hundreds of millions of dollars annually. And it takes cops off the streets who could be going after child killers and terrorists. But as I tell school children who think marijuana can't hurt you, a pot bust can still wreck your life. Hence the decades long dilemma. Despite the lives ruined and the hundreds of billions spent on the drug war, marijuana is cheaper, stronger, and more widely available than ever. And let me let you in on a secret. Do you want to know why Mexico has become the superhighway for imported drugs? Remember Miami Vice? Are you stopping the drugs coming in or are you merely diverting them from so far? That's I the think question. We're doing both. Some have been diverted. We've got a national problem, and this is a national answer. We hope it'll prove successful. It didn't, with all due respect to President Bush. However you feel about the legalization and taxation of marijuana, it is being grown in a field, factory, attic, or basement near you, and your neighbor is toking up. Kimberly Guilfoy, a Fox News analyst, former California prosecutor who has never smoked marijuana, she tells me. Joining, uh, she joins me along with actor and anti-marijuana activist Stephen Baldwin. He must have some interesting family reunions. Uh, in <laughs> Oakland, where he runs uh, O Oaksterdam, which he describes as a kind of Las Vegas for pot smokers, Richard Lee uh, joins us. He's also a member of the Cannabis Regulation and uh, Revenue Ordinance Commission. Uh, so, Richard, is that, uh, you know, is that a legit group? Are you trying to legalize or get this on the ballot in California? Definitely, but I got to say, Happy Mother's Day! Happy First Mother's Day yeah, to right. my mom back in Houston, Texas, and Lee, and thank my parents for all their support. They're longtime Republicans who who believe in. Did they do they smoke weed, uh, Richard? No, they never have, but they have tried a little bit of the edibles. My mom says it helps her sleep a little bit sometimes. Oh, God, you, you're maybe going too far there. Uh, but uh, Stephen Baldwin, why do you oppose this? 
Well, I, I, I oppose the broad legalization of marijuana just because I think that regardless, on a common sense level, we are going to do unbelievable harm to a younger generation. Uh, you cannot take away from the fact that marijuana is a drug, a mind-altering drug. If, I, if you sat for an hour, Geraldo, and smoked three joints in a row, tried to write your name a hundred times, you'd be all over the place. So if we make this accessible I, I'd to a I'd also be very team, hungry. Yeah, exactly. But you see my point. My, my, my beef is on a common sense, just common sense, all things considered. We tax alcohol, it makes $25 billion for the country, it costs $150 billion. The same thing's going to happen if you legalize marijuana. Richard, and then I'll get to Kimberly. Do, do you not see that it's a gateway drug, or that once a kid gets into no. the culture of being stoned, he's gonna, he or she is going to want to stay stoned? All the scientific research shows that it's not a gateway drug, you know, and then if you're going to say things are gateway drugs, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Are you going to make those illegal because people might, you know, go on to use something else? And I think, um, actually, people may switch from booze to cannabis, and that would be a good thing because booze is, a, I mean, cannabis is a less dangerous drug than booze. Booze kills people. People overdose on booze. It causes violence and uh, sexual assault. So I think uh, the it, 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 it's not going to be a problem if we tax and regulate cannabis. Isn't he right, physiologically speaking, Kimberly? Uh, you know, marijuana doesn't make you go rape. It doesn't make you, you know, uh, unlike alcohol, you don't have rage as a result. I'm not going to stand by that and say I don't know. I haven't tried uh, marijuana. And why? Have, why I've didn't you? How well, did you? You I kept from to San be Francisco. A prosecutor. It wasn't. It was an illegal substance. I wasn't going to break the law. I didn't want to be in a mind altered state. So if I've it also were legal, a would cigarette or tried any other narcotics, you know, and I have absolutely no desire to do so. I've had like a glass of wine on occasion. I don't abuse these things I don't think so is it a moral should. argument in in your view is this about morality I, I or just, is this about legality I find it to be just a little bit ironic and hypocritical that we want to tell children they can't have this kind of potato chip or they can't drink soda in school but now we're gonna say that you can go ahead and legalize marijuana that that's something that we want to say is okay yeah, for and children then, to take and, and get behind the wheel of a car it's I don't just, think it should be abused it's, it's, I, it, we're in a, it's just good common sense if you think about it Geraldo if you make marijuana as accessible as cigarettes. How many kids are smoking in the playgrounds of public schools today? Right. Even though they're underage, they're gonna get the marijuana he, if you legalize here's, it. Here's my point. I have charted the war on drugs more than any reporter sure. alive today. Absolutely. I have watched a trillion and dollars, you've done a, great a job. thousand billion tax dollars spent on the war on drugs. It is an utter failure. Marijuana is everywhere. Is this the answer, though? Just because the, the, you can't defeat the answer it or, or is, control I, it to go ahead and I, let I, it be abused? But I don't think so. is the answer to continue a prohibition that so clearly doesn't work and is wrecking 775 lives? These are people who are law-abiding, most of them, uh, right, job but, holding. <coughs> they, went, they were arrested. <coughs> well, I think it's but what, for people what percentage of the people. populace are they, Geraldo? Is it worth just for those well, people I, to jeopardize the well, health and well-being? How many kids are going to be stoned? Do, do you, our, wait a second. Do how you many drink, kids are, Stephen? No, I don't. I'm sober off of drugs and alcohol 20 years. So it, is, your, is, is it your aversion to, to any intoxicant? That is fueling no, listen, your listen, for medicinal opposition? reasons. I'm one of these few conservatives that would. Would you ban alcohol as well? No, it's too late for that. That's already too late for that. That's, well, I maintain it, it's it, too late for marijuana. I, well, that and God bless you. You're entitled to your opinion. But my problem is this: my hope is to protect the younger people, adolescents who don't know any better. What's going to happen to school grades, Geraldo? What's going to happen? But you have to. Yeah, I can't imagine that the access to marijuana will change very much, and you would still oh, have the laws. Huge. You would still have the laws against the uh, but, you know youngsters using, and the same laws you have against alcohol abuse. But look at it this way: you have way. to be 21 to drink if in most states. If marijuana is illegal now, look at the percentage age-wise and the demographics of young kids who can't access it because it's illegal. Right. If you made it as accessible as cigarettes. It would be a huge problem. It'd be a disaster. Like cigarettes, it could do damage to your. I understand that everything is bad for you, but I think that the reality is that the time has come that they will debate the legalization more than they did at any time since the 1970s. When a senior senator from New York State was a member of the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Law, a Republican senator, Jacob Javits. I mean, I think that that time is coming again. It is. But thank you for a spirited debate, Stephen. Thank you for coming in on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Kimberly. Thank you very much, and Richard. Lee, I, I, someday we have to get some video of your uh, Oakster Dam there in Oakland, California. Coming up, the markets are up. What's going on?
after this.